Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY Valentine's Day basket. I'm super, super excited about this video. Valentine's Day is coming up and I thought it would be something exciting to share and do. So if you haven't already and this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. We do a lot of unboxing reviews as well as vlogs and family lifestyle videos if you're back for some more thank you and let's get right into the video okay so some of the supplies we're going to be using a pair of scissors some tape ribbon a bag for your basket um, I'm just going to let you know ahead of time that I only got one, unfortunately, uh, so real life problems and I need to go back and get another one. So scissors, pen or something to write with, color markers, um, tape, ribbon for your bag and basket at the end to close the basket, some decorations if you want to decorate the bag with stickers you're also obviously gonna need what you're gonna be putting in your basket so you definitely need a basket and oh yeah I don't know if I mentioned some tissue paper as well colorful tissue paper um, I'm gonna be filling the baskets with as well okay so you're definitely gonna need something to put your stuff in it can be a basket, it can be a, a regular basket, it can be a storage container similar to this, it can be a pail uh, for the beach, whatever you decide on putting your gifts in or chocolates in. You can just be creative and get whatever you have either around the house or whatever you found at the store um, that really caught your eye. That it can be used like for multiple things, not just this one day i mean in this case it's kind of valentine's ish but i'm still gonna probably use this to store bowls in or other accessories around a uh, little accessories that they have in their room use it for cookies or whatever candy i mean i think it was really nice when i saw it and that's where i got it also so this is all of Paige's stuff so i'm gonna put Paige's stuff in this basket this is pretty much everything that i'm gonna put in her basket most of it i got from dollar tree and then a couple other things i picked up here and there maybe at um target i think i got this uh, box of chocolate here i think i got it at target you can check out my dollar tree haul if you haven't already seen it i basically show everything i got here was mostly from the dollar tree so that's this was purchased at the Dollar Tree and most of these other items. If you're interested in seeing that video, it will be also linked here. Um, these I did not get from the Dollar Tree. I'm just adding these. This is for Penelope's basket. And this is the stuff I'll be putting in her basket pretty much. So I sorted it out. This will be hers. This one just says Happy Valentine's Day on it. And the lids are on the bottom. But this is how I'm going to be using it in the basket pretty much similar stuff to what i got Paige tailored it kind of because she's only 10 months so this is what she'll probably most likely be snacking on or these little puffs and she loves these little yogurt melts as well so i got her those the chocolate she's definitely not going to be eating i'm just adding it in there just because it's cute a little headband um i thought was really cute Again, those chocolates she's not going to be eating, but I'm just going to probably add some in there for filler. This is all Penelope stuff. She's got a couple of books. Some more chocolate candy. Some more little Hershey candies to add to her basket. Fruit roll-ups. So here we go. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first basket I'm going to do here is Paige's basket. And like I said, I already have everything here. I'm going to try to fit the... I already sorted out Paige's stuff and Penny's stuff. So I'm just going to put the big stuff in front. And just kind of get a feel to how everything is going to fit in here.
Okay, so that is Paige's basket all done and ready to go. And then the last thing you'll do is just put the plastic over it in the bowl. And I'm going to do Penelope's real quick and then show you that. I also did have this extra stuff here and since it doesn't fit what I'm gonna do is wrap it up with a little bow and paper and give that to her on the side as well it's just some extra little um, books this is like a little stationery. I also got all this stuff from the Dollar Tree go check out my Dollar Tree haul if you haven't already checked it out so all this stuff I got at the Dollar Tree and yeah I'll just be putting this stuff in her bag um, since it didn't fit in her basket, I'll just be putting this all separately. And since it's a DIY project, you can just think creatively of how you would like to do it. I mean, I, you can put it in a gift bag, in another bucket. You can even get a larger bucket if this bucket doesn't, you know, fit everything in it. I Like I said, I just got it from the Dollar Tree. I thought it worked well. I thought it was cute. Something small. It didn't fit everything, but that's okay because I have plenty of tissue here. And what I'm going to do is use this tissue and make a little wrap out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it like so. Just use whatever you have. I mean, especially if your kids are young, they're not going to really care too much about the presentation but they're just gonna love what's inside and you know the fact that you went out and you got them something nice and thought of them so that's what really matters here so just using the supplies and stuff that I have here to surprise her with and she's gonna love it because she can go ahead and rip the paper and kind of will remind her a little of Christmas <laughs> when you unwrapping gifts um.
you can even decorate the rest of the bag with some more of these and put them around you know little words and saying that reminds you of uh, each kid or that person so if you have things that don't fit in your bucket or whatever your pail or your basket whatever you put your stuff in you can always just create something like this put it on the side you know it was really simple just use the same stuff that I already had and just put a bunch of little funny words that reminded me of her big sister joy you know little hearts my heart for my sweet penny and just kind love you just different things brave funny um so yeah whatever reminds you of that person i thought was really cute and you can just put that on there so this she can open it's just a bunch of coloring books and stuff for her to do nothing you know too flashy so I really really like the way these came out. I think they're fun, creative, and that's everything that I picked out that I actually liked. So I didn't have to buy something that was already pre-done. Um, you can do these and customize it to the way you like it. In the back here, you see I put everything so it's facing out and you can just see everything um, on, from the back, from the side. Any which way you look at it, it's visible in the bag. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm just going to show you one more time how this one came out with the wrapping. Um, again, she has a little graduate there. And if you don't want to put chocolate, I mean, you don't have to put chocolate. You can put your child's favorite or whoever you're making a basket for. You can just put their favorite little items. It doesn't necessarily have to be candy or chocolate. You can put toothbrushes. You can put toothpaste. I mean, anything that they're actually going to use, you know, I think it's a good idea. Think of that person when making something for them and just think about what they like and enjoy. And that's what makes each holiday extra special. So I know they're going to love these. I already love it and yeah let me know in the comments below what you thought about this happy Valentine's Day love you all. thank you all for watching and liking my videos and showing your love and support it really 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 means a lot to me so thank you thank you thank you and I will see you later thank you love you subscribe hit that button subscribe now hit that button and subscribe. <laughs> Later.